Chris and Betsy of As We Go. And we invite you to come along with us as we walk the decks at Tall Ships Galveston. First time we saw the Oliver Hazard Perry, she just happened to be anchored off of Fort Travis Seashore Park over on the Bolivar Peninsula. We were lucky enough to see her there. And then just a few days later, we were blessed to be able to catch her at full sail out during the parade of sail for Tall Ships Galveston. We had a great viewpoint now. Just, oh man, was she impressive on the waves. The next day it was the Tall Ships Galveston Festival itself when the grounds were open and the ships were available for tours. Sorry about the finger there in the picture. <clears throat> yeah, GoPro does have a real wide field of view. But we got on board and got to spend some time walking about the decks. One of the nice things that all the vessels had available were crew members who could answer any questions for us, like this young lady who was perched up by the steering housing. Hi. No steering engine, right? No steering engine. No steering engine. Normal. So Chris did a little more checking out of the steerage and then just behind him there is what would have used to have been called the chart house where all the navigation, or at least some of the navigational stuff is kept. Beautiful doors there. And called the chart house originally because, well, that's where the charts were. The Perry is actually a very young vessel. She was only three years old and was built as a sailing school vessel. By the way, if you want to learn more about the Perry, I'll have links in, down below in the description. But in the meantime, we followed the little arrows. The arrow goes this way and we discovered that we were able to go below decks and see what there was to see. This companionway led down to the great cabin. It's a beautifully appointed room and you'll notice the windows around the stern area there. Now they're covered with steel right now because it's required by the Coast Guard for safety, um, but they are in the process of getting some different glass and they'll be able to keep those uncovered. We then went through the rest of the area below decks, and as you can see, it looks pretty much like any modern ship. Like I said, she is only three years old, kind of the baby of the group. But look past the galley there. A little three minute walk got sped up for your convenience. Ah, and here where the galley would have been on an old sailing vessel is now a classroom slash lab kind of space. We made our way back out into fresh air up on the weather deck over on the starboard side where we could look across the bay. Those oil rigs there, they're just kind of sitting in mothballs. It was a beautiful boat to stand in. We had a gorgeous day that Friday for Tall Ships Festival. It's just amazing when you look at these towering masts over you to realize that this was state-of-the-art transportation back in the day when the tall-masted ships plied their trade. Look at that view over the bow of the Perry as you look down the line to the Picton Castle and Alyssa. Just an amazing time out there walking the decks and experiencing it. We couldn't have asked for a better event to, to enjoy down here while we were in Galveston.
Hey, thanks so much for watching. We sure appreciate that. And if you liked our video uh, here of the Perry, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you want to be the first on your street to know when a new video is live, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We sure appreciate you watching. We hope you'll take care. And someday maybe we'll see you on the road.